In this video, we're going to discuss Poisson probability distributions. We're going to discuss how and when to use them, as well as work through a few practice problems. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the Poisson distribution or the Poisson probability distribution model is used to model the number of random events per unit of time. So whether that be number of bees to a flower in five minutes, number of cars to a drive through in half an hour, number of patients to the emergency room in one hour, or number of website visits that Amazon receives on Black Friday, as long as we're modeling the number of random events in a set period of time, we can use the Poisson distribution. Importantly, the Poisson distribution is a discrete probability model, meaning that it models discrete events or those events which can be counted. As we've highlighted before with other discrete probability models, such as the geometric model or the binomial model, these are events which can be counted. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is different than the continuous probability model where values can assume an infinitesimal number of values. Within our Poisson distribution, we have an independence assumption, which just says that the events must in be independent of each other. In other words, knowing that one patient arrived at the emergency room will not have an impact on another patient coming to the emergency room, or knowing that a, one car pulled into the drive through will have no impact on another car pulling into a drive through Each one of these events is independent of each other. So we can review a few things. The first we're gonna thing we're gonna review is our probability model. So the probability that x is equal to x is equal to e, that's a, just a naturally occurring value, to the power of negative lambda times lambda to the power of x divided by x factorial. Now lambda is just this value right here. This is the Greek letter lambda. And when we use our Poisson distribution, lambda is equal to our expected value. You of course could use the Greek letter mu, e to the power of negative mu times mu to the power of x divided by x factorial. However, I recommend using lambda when working with, plus, with Poisson distributions. It just keeps things a little bit tidier. We also notice that our standard deviation here is equal to the square root of lambda. So in this case, our variance is equal to our expected value. So our standard deviation is still the square root of our variance. The only difference here is that our expected value is equal to our expected value. So let's go ahead and dive into a few practice problems here. So let's talk about this practice problem. So consider a Poisson distribution with a lambda of equal to four. Write the appropriate Poisson probability function. So let's go ahead and do that. So A. The probability that x is equal to x is equal to e to the power of negative lambda times lambda to the power of x divided by x factorial. In this case, we know what lambda is. It's 4, so we may as well sub that in. e to the power of negative 4 times 4 to the power of x divided by x factorial. And that is our probability our Poisson probability function. So for B, compute the probability that X is equal to two. So B, the probability that X is equal to two is equal to E to the power of negative lambda times lambda to the power of X divided by X factorial. Well, this is equal to E to the power of negative four times four to the power of two divided by two factorial. So we get e, e to the power of negative four times four to the power of two, which gives us 0 0.293050 divided by two factorial, which is of course two, which gives us our final answer here which gives us 0 0.146525. So the probability that X is equal to two is equal to 0 0.146525. Okay, compute the probability that X is equal to one. Okay, so C, the probability that X is equal to one 
is equal to e to the power of negative lambda times lambda to the power of x divided by x factorial. So e to the power of negative 4 times 4 to the power of 1 divided by 1 factorial. So e to the negative 4 times 4 <coughs> divided by 1 is equal to 0 0.0732. Six, three. And then finally, compute the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2. So d, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 is equal to 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. Well, we know what the probability that x is equal to 1 is, we do not know what the probability that x is equal to 0 is. So let's do this. So the probability that x is equal to 0 is equal to e to the power of negative lambda times lambda to the power of x divided by, whoops, got ahead of myself, divided by x factorial. So e to the power of negative 4 times 4 to the power of 0 by zero factorial. So really what we have here is e to the negative four, which gives us 0 0.018316. So this is equal to one minus the probability that x is equal to one minus the probability that x is equal to none. So this is one minus 0 0.073263 minus 0 0.018316. So 1 minus 0 0.073263 minus 0 0.018316 gives us a probability of 0 0.908421. And if we wanted to round to four decimal points, we could. 0 0.9084 is probably sufficient as an answer. So in this question, in this video, we learned about the Poisson distribution. We learned how to calculate the expected value, variance, and standard deviation, as well as how a number of practice problems. That's it for this video. But if you found that it helped to make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.